going to put a little bit of this black pond dye in the goldfish pond, the lower pond, just to see how that works out. Um, hopefully to uh, keep the, uh, the mink from eating our fish. Can you turn it over? Let's see what it says on the back side. I'm not really sure how much to put in, so I'm just going to put a bottom full of a little plastic yes. cup. One to two quarts per surface area, acre, four to six feet deep, every four to eight weeks or as needed. Well, our pond is pretty small, so... And one quart treats like a gallon. I wonder what the fish are going to do when we put the dye in there. Maybe you should put a little bit at this end and a little bit at the other end and then go around the corner and do a little bit over there. I think that's what it recommends, put it in like several spots. Okay, I already got some ink on my hands. The Wear gloves. <laughs> the cap didn't come off properly. So I'm just going to pour it directly in the pond just a little bit. The fish think I'm going to feed them. All right. Wow. <clears throat> Definitely tell it's, it's like a giant star. <laughs> Put a little bit here at this end. One more spot. Need to turn around and get some One more. There we go. This is the upper goldfish pond without any dye put in it. Now it's frozen. It got down to about 10 degrees last night. The lower goldfish pond has the black dye. It uh, distributed on its own pretty good, except one section is quite dark because there's no flow of water there. Here's the darkest section. Before it froze over, we could still see the goldfish swimming around with the dyed pond. See a little bit of a change in the color from this angle between the lower pond and the upper pond. 